Salud krab. It's Thursday, May 10th. I'm JP Mistanza, and this is Phuket Extra. Now here's the news you need to know. The CEO of the Emerald Group of Companies here in Phuket, he's now out of jail after having posted bail at the Phuket Provincial Court earlier this week. Sawe Katrosh turned himself over to police last Wednesday, May 2nd, once it became public that there was a warrant out for his arrest that was issued last October. He stands accused of defrauding investors of more than 127.5 million baht, according to Tours Police, all for allegedly not delivering on the condo units that he promised in Patong, Katu, and Krabi that were paid for by investors. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. A KLM flight from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur was forced to divert to Phuket to make an unscheduled landing yesterday after passenger's cell phone overheated and started emitting smoke. The urgent landing was made shortly before 1 p.m. at the Phuket International Airport with 214 passengers and crew aboard the plane and it stopped because the cabin started filling up with smoke, although more specifics about how the phone became overheated were not clear. All the passengers had to stay overnight courtesy of KLM Airlines and after safety checks, their flight resumed to its destination. With pro-democracy activists planning a march on May 22nd, the fourth anniversary of the military coup, the deputy prime minister is firing back promising legal action against those who go ahead with the march. The whole thing centers around Thailand's national elections, which are scheduled for February 2019 next year. And activists say that's too late, demanding an election for this November. But once it became clear that February would be the time, then the march on the government house in Bangkok was planned. Meanwhile, General Prawit Wong Suwan says he does not understand why the activists can't just wait three more months, since the election will take place in accordance with the government's roadmap to democracy. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back after this, so don't go anywhere. It's time to do something about your body. Get on track by learning your hidden numbers with Fit3D Thailand, the most advanced body composition and posture analysis based on your own 3D avatar. It takes only 40 seconds, and within minutes, you'll have a detailed report that includes everything from your fat mass, lean mass, body measurements, posture analysis, balance, and much more. Track your progress with the most accurate pro scanner available. Visit or contact us today. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Whatever name you want to call it, embezzlement, internal graft, whatever, tens of millions of baht were flat out stolen from a scholarship fund by 25 current and former officials from the education ministry. The announcement was made by the education minister this week, Tirakyat Jaron Septasin, who so far has not revealed the names of the people involved in the theft from the Sema Patana Shawit Fund, which was meant to help poor students pay for their education. Minister Tirakyat made the announcement following an internal investigation, although a parallel investigation by the Public Sector Anti-Corruption Commission, the PACC, is still ongoing, and it involves ex-education officials, especially Rojana Sinti, who admitted to siphoning 88 million baht into 22 bank accounts since 2005. While the PACC continues their investigation, the Education Ministry is saying they will step up and set up a panel to examine the violations and disciplinary measures. Again, education officials stole from a scholarship fund meant to go to poor students. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Disabled rights activists are fed up and filing complaints to the administrative court in Bangkok, all to make sure they are financially compensated per day for officials' failure to uphold a court ruling to make portions of the BTS SkyTrain in Bangkok disabled friendly. Back in 2015, the administrative court ruled that the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, which owns the main BTS Sukhumvit line, along with operators of the network, the BKK Mass Transit System PLC, the BTSC, they were supposed to improve access for disabled individuals to use the BTS Green Line. That's a court order. But the president of the Disabilities Thailand Council says that in three years, no improvements have been made and now 430 complaints are being made on behalf of several disabled people demanding 1,000 baht per day since, quote, they have to use taxis or other forms of transport to make up for the BTS management's failure. Altogether, the amount would be more than 356 million Thai baht, but an earlier statement from the BTSC said they have lifts in several BTS lines. What do you think? Should BTS officials provide compensation? Comment below to let us know your thoughts. 
And that's it for Puka Extra today. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Pukets. Southeast Asia's leading destination marathon, the award-winning Laguna Phuket Marathon, will take place at the Laguna Phuket Resort Complex on Bangtao Beach on June 9th and 10th. 